There are several ways of improving the image quality in Blue Sky Plan. One important way is to start with larger 2D images, which can be accomplished by cropping the DICOM images to just include the field of interest. The Align Dataset and Set Volume of Interest window appears after loading the DICOM series. Left drag on the outer rotational controls to set the patient angle as necessary. Left drag on the arrows of the cropping wipers in any of the orientation views to expose only the arch of interest. This focuses solely on this area which will result in all the views in blue sky plan displaying the images larger than if shared with an opposing arch. Brightness and contrast levels can be adjusted in order to enhance all of the 2D images simultaneously. From the main menu, left click on the panels and then brightness contrast. Left drag on the slide bar handles to move the brightness and contrast controls as needed. The 3D view can be cleaned up by left dragging on the density threshold slide bar found beneath the 3D image. Dragging to the right increases the threshold, thereby showing only the higher density portions of the scan. For further tweaking, open the Volume Rendering panel from the Panels menu. Left click on the Panels menu, then left click on Volume Rendering. The Volume Rendering panel will open. Left drag on the relevant slide bar handles to obtain the most favorable 3D image. The 3D vertical toolbar can also be used to enhance the 3D images. Left click on the rendering icon, then move the cursor to presets. From the list, click on the preset mode to select the desired rendition. In addition, the quality level of the preset can be selected. Left click on the rendering icon, move the cursor to quality, and left click on the desired level. Notice the impact that the quality adjustment can have on the image. The panoramic image can be displayed in two forms, a composite view which appears as a panorex image as well as a single slice CT cut view. Although mostly used for diagnostic and not image enhancement purposes, this is included in this discussion because it is related to image control. From the vertical toolbar to the right of the panoramic image, left click on the third icon from the top. This slice composite icon will toggle between these two views. The adjustable panoramic curve is found in the axial image contained in the top center view. When in single slice view, adjust the curve by left dragging on any of the yellow control squares on the curve. This may help present the pano view more clearly or to help focus on specific anatomy such as when trying to identify the nerve canal. Observe the panoramic in slice mode where the pano curve was adjusted to show the canal. In composite view, the panorama curve in the axial view displays as a double line curve, which are the inner and outer limits of the image shown in the panel. Left drag on any of the four control circles to widen or narrow the pano field of view. Observe how the panoramic image changes depending on the width of the pano composite curve position.